Hey guys, and welcome back to Tenchu Z. When we last left off, we <clears throat> stumbled our way through training. Um, so I think it's about time we go for our first proper mission. We're going to go hard difficulty and see what it's like. Uh, I believe where there is a mission with a scroll next to it. I think that's the next um, main story mission. There are a lot of optional missions in this game, and we're going to do them all. So, Path of the Ninja, Location, Merchant's Manor, Requirements, Assassinate Rok Rokubi, Rokub, whatever, uh, Failure, Death of the Main Character, let's go. Uh, now, it's going to ask us if we want to depart on this mission now, or um, if we want to, you know, get ourselves equipped. We're not going to take any items, we don't need any items. <laughs> ゴダの国にはテオンな日々が訪れている。そして、ある日日の姿を取り戻しつつある。アズマ忍びりゅうの里から今宵も待たず任務へと赴く影がある。商人越後屋六部裏でさばいた刀や種頭で執行を肥や
but it can be helpful. All right, let's go hide these bodies. I don't think they're going to be spotted where they are, but, you know, better to err on the side of caution. Now, do we have anyone around here? I'm pretty sure one of the skills we get a little bit later on lets us call enemies. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's a skill, but hey, there we go. That's the way this game is. Alright, we're hidden in the shadows, so this chap here is our next target. Oh, we also have a map as well. And the map's quite quite useful. Right. Where are you? There you are. Let's go take this guy out in this corner. I think there's another guy here somewhere. There is. There is. Come to Papa. Or come to Mama, I should say. Alright. That's this area cleaned out, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any goodies here. Maybe. Nah, uh, they're definitely not going to be spotted. So, that's fine. We can leave these guys here. Uh, that's not what I want to do. So, we've got a lamp guy. I wonder if he's going to walk past us. He is. Perfect. Oh, you fool. Come, little fishy. That'll do. As I said, the more guys you kill, the more cash you get, so. Yeah, all right. Go drag this baggage off. Uh, so I need to be a little bit cautious. I don't know. We did kill the guy that was usually behind here, didn't we? We did. All right, cool. Let's go take this baggage and dump him behind. Yeah. Fortunately, we can't do anything about his lamp, but, you know, he's uh, dead, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, you would think you're hiding in some of these bushes. And most of the time you are, but there are some bushes that are actually lit up. So even though it looks like you're hiding, you aren't. You need to be a little bit careful. So what's going on down here? Hi, sir. It's a pleasure. A pleasure, my friend. I assure you the pleasure is all mine. Turn your back. Come on. Good lad. There we go. You're done, son. Right, now this guy. This is what I mean if we try and hide his body. Oh, he actually did fall off, which was quite nice there. But usually, they don't. Which is where that throwing maneuver actually comes in fairly useful, I guess. Now... You can see, using the shadow there, that there is someone in the other room. It's a little bit cheap, maybe, but, you know, you got to use these uh, abilities. you got to use everything to your advantage in this game, if you don't want to get caught. Now, I'm sure... Oh, God. <laughs> There's some guy behind us. Shit. I was waiting for him to come the other way. But no. Outsmarted me. Well, I'm not sure who's seen me. But. That's okay. We can take a few of these guys out. Sneak, 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 sneak. We'll use the distraction whilst everybody is, uh, you know, oh god, distracted to cause some more chaos. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? There we go. You're going to see your god. Lovely. Okay, cool. All right, let's get rid of your ass. Chuck you in the bush. 
I mean, close enough. Fortunately, there was another guy. That's the guy in that room that we actually need to kill. Yeah, we need to take that guy out, which we will do. All in good time. Oop. I'm pretty sure. Right, so there's somebody very close to us. He's in that room, I believe. There he is. Hey, friend. Should have been a little bit more alert, my dude. Fool. Okay. Now, I think there's someone in this other room up here. Memory serves. Uh, but he's just... He's chilling out. He's fine. Oh, he's, he's having a bit of a sleep. So, let's go take him out whilst he sleeps. It's one way to be woken up. Not quite the peaceful sleepy intended. But I suppose at least this way he gets to sleep forever. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Okay. That guy's dead. Looks like we've pacified most of these fools. There's an archer around here somewhere that we want to be a little bit careful of. Ah, hello. The chap drinking tea. Ah, I don't think we have to worry about the dude drinking tea, though. All right, let's wait for this dude to turn around. There we go. Not sure why he would be standing there staring at the wall, but hey, you got to take what we can get. I love that blood spray as well. <laughs> nice. No one in there. There's a cook through in that room, but we're not going to hurt the cook because we're not going to murder people for the sake of it, you know. Only bad nicks get murdered. Now, there, sh there is it there. See the lantern guy through there. And you can see him sneaking over there in the distance. But that's okay. Sorry, my friend. You have drunk your last sip of tea. Probably sake. He's probably drinking rice wine. Well, my rice wine now. Okay. Where's our... Ah, there's a spearman. Let's go try and take the spear dude out. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the lantern guy see me? He did. Come on then. Let's go for one-on-one -on -one combat. Let's do this. Well, so much for a clean sweep, I suppose, but hey. What are you going to do? Alright. No one around here. Just the cook. That's fine. Cook's not going to tell anyone. The cook tells nobody nothing. Yeah, this bush here, like if we hide in it, you think you're uh, hidden. You're not. <laughs> I can tell you that for a fact. Oh, there's the archer. That archer is a bit of a rough customer. Now, see that orange symbol there? That means we're being sniffed. Uh, we've got a dog. Dogs are bastards in this game. And I hate killing the dogs. Oh, where are you going? Oh, he's gone to have a piss. Oh, dude. How's unfortunate. You're going to drown in your own piss, mate. There we go. Unfortunate. Still, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. That's a uh, healing drink. So that's actually quite a nice little pickup there. Right, we've got one dude there. Come to daddy. Come on. I think he's the only guy here, actually. Now, remember, because of our stats and our strength, we can 
only carry uh, seven items, so it's quite good that we didn't bring anything with us because we're already up to four. And we might find some more items, possibly, depending on how, how things go. Now, there's the merchant through that window there, or through that rice paper door. Doesn't look like there's anybody in here. No, but there might be some loot in here, maybe. Have a look around. You can see how well this game runs as well. It's it's really pretty flawless, which is nice. Because, uh, yeah, they're not known for their optimization. Uh, now, how do we want to kill this guy? He's just pissed out of his head. He's having a good time. Now, let's try and go for a stealth kill through the door, which you can do. It's not a bad way of killing him, actually. So where is he? Now remember, we can kind of look under this floor here to see where he is. There he is. Ooh. Get fucked. Could have been better. Could have been worse. But that was the first mission. So it's going to be easy. <laughs> oh, you'd love to see it. Hell of a nose as well. I thought we changed his clothes. Maybe we didn't. <clears throat> Okay, that was way better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ninja 5 is the best rank. I should have looked that up, but I didn't. So, we got a bonus for the boss stealth kill. We got uninjured and no items used. Uh, that's not going to continue. We are going to fuck up. 17 seconds of mayhem time. And uh, we got detected twice, so, you know. Still, I'll take it. I will take it. So yeah, it is 1.5. So gold awarded, uh, 2,600. Well, basically, you know, 2,700 gold. But you got to multiply that by 1.5. You can purchase new items. You can acquire new skills. Well, this is most excellent. Let's have a little look at what skills and shit we can get. Practicing skills. Helps you complete missions. Use items. Yeah, yeah, We know. We know. We're not green. Right, so. What skills can we get then? Ah, we can get sense. Allows you to sense enemy vitality. Enemy vitality is displayed whilst the right trigger button is held down. Not really that useful, to be honest. Uh, it just allows us to see how much health an enemy has, but I suppose we can buy it just because. Uh, secret arts can repel and rebound an enemy attack, leaving them exposed. Not too bothered about that. Allows you to see things over great distances. Used to check enemy movements at long range. I don't remember that. Eyes. Now you can see it's called Eyes 1. Uh, so it's like the basic version of that skill. You can get like eyes 2 and eyes 3 as well. Uh, let's pick that up. Oh, there we go. So we can actually get like eyes 2 straight away if we wanted. Which might not be a terrible idea. And eyes 3 is 2k. Which isn't a huge amount of cash. Secret arts. How does that Okay, so that's uh, LB plus the right stick down. Okay. Alright, so ability settings. How do we use these? How do we set these? So, sense. We can use sense, detect vitality. So, yeah, uh, skills are your uh, passive abilities.
ultimate art. Can't remember what ultimate art does. But eyes too. I think secret arts and ultimate arts are different. There's, as you can see, there's a lot here. There's like a hell of a lot here. Um, so yeah, we'll keep that. All right, that'll do. Um, now we can also buy items and shit like we've already seen. I don't know. Oh, we've got smoke bombs, which is nice. Cow troughs, which are good if you're being chased. Uh, antidotes and purifying. Purifying could be useful. Maybe. Because there are traps that can be quite hard to see. Uh, so I might get a couple of those. Sure. Antidotes. Can't really remember what poison's like in this game. So we'll pick up a couple of those just to be sure. Shurikens. I can't remember if they're a one-hit kill. Um... But, you know, we'll we'll cross that bridge. Now, you can have up to 99 of each item in storage, which is, you know, plenty. We'll take one of those, and we'll take one of those. I don't think we're going to come up against any situation just yet where we need to use an antidote. But I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, yeah. Okay. We're on 22 minutes. We don't really have enough time uh, to do another mission. So... I might just leave it here guys and when we come back we might go on to the next one because the next mission is a little bit longer it's not too bad but it's definitely longer so i'm gonna drop a save here guys and uh when we come back well <laughs> more mayhem till then guys thanks for watching